Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, of course, he handles railways, telecom, but today we're talking in the capacity of electronics and information technology. The minister with us now live. Uh, Mr. Vaishnav, thank you so much for speaking with us here at NDTV Profit. Always a pleasure to speak with you. And of course, the buzz right now is semiconductors and how you have shown on a whiteboard how it will work. Uh, you know, those videos and those, that picture has also gone viral. But <laughs> let, let me begin by uh, understanding why this is such a big deal. Because all through the pandemic and afterwards, the world first learned about how crucial and vital these very little objects are. What we have decided yesterday and what we've done yesterday, how will that lay the foundation to truly be Atmanirbhar on semiconductors? See, semiconductor is basically a foundational industry. Everything that we use in our houses today, in our offices today, during our travel, everything has semiconductor in it. For example, within the home, starting with your refrigerator, the light, the fan, the air conditioner, TV, mobile phone, going out of the house, the train that you catch or the metro that you catch or the car in which you drive or the bike or scooty. If you travel outside, every practically every equipment that we see today, anything that requires a switch on and switch off, Every such thing requires a semiconductor in it. So practically, this is like a raw material which is required in every sector of manufacturing. Whether it is steel making or car making, whether it is manufacturing aeroplanes or manufacturing trains. So this is very, very important for our economy. That's why our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has put huge focus on getting the semiconductor industry into India. The first uh, policy proposal which was published in early 2022, after that we kept on working on, the, de on developing the ecosystem because it's a very complex industry. It requires thousands of different types of gases, chemicals, consumables to be able to run a fab properly. So we focused on getting the ecosystem and then came the announcement of Micron and within 100 days of approval, the construction of the factory started. That gave huge confidence to the world and yesterday our Prime Minister approved three more proposals. One fab of Tata and power chip of Taiwan and two ATMP units, one of Renesa and CG power, second one is of Tata Electronics. So these three projects combined and the Micron project gives us the foundation for laying the, setting up the semiconductor industry in India. This will basically cater to our automobile industry, our electric vehicle industry, power electronics, consumer electronics like TV, uh, refrigerator, all these items, to our defense and space sectors, Practically every industrial and domestic application, consumer applications will be benefited by these four plants. Sir, I just wanted to understand uh, the cumulative investment for these plants uh, is 1.26 lakh crores. How much of this uh, will be uh, given by the government as part of the PLI scheme? Um, I'm, I'm trying to get a sense of how much we are incentivizing and subsidizing these projects as of course we need to world over the US etc everyone is doing it uh, it's high cost but what is the sort of uh, uh, a breakup and picture when it comes to this fresh lot of plants so we have a very robust uh, assessment process of the project cost there are items which are admissible as expenditure. This, there are other items which are not admissible as expenditure. So, and this is a team of professionals who benchmark everything as per the global best and as per the actual cost which gets incurred. Basis that our policy is 50% uh, uh, incentive is there and that incentive gets repaid significantly as the industry progresses. It's a very interesting structure and by which this industry gets set up and our investment uh, which was approved as the uh, program was uh, 
76,000 crore. Um, this is the this is like this is the first part of this entire journey. Uh, this is going to be a 20-year journey. We have to lay the foundation. We have to make sure that the entire value chain comes to India. We have to make sure that our strong design capabilities, they are further strengthened. The fab comes and ATMP comes. So this entire value chain comes to India. So that's the way with which we are working. It's a very long program. It will take uh, for the coming many years, we'll continue to get the benefit out of this and continue to grow this program. What is the outlay you see, sir, in FY25 out of the 76,000 crore rupees? And do you expect to expect it to increase? We will have a full budget uh, after so uh, I won't the election. So I won't be able to get... I won't be able to get into those minute details. Okay. Broadly, the four units will lay the entire foundation because they bring the entire capability. I also want to point out a couple of more things. First, Northeast is one part of the country where our Prime Minister has put huge focus. More than 50 times he has personally visited. We have highway connectivity, railway connectivity, air connectivity, optical fiber connectivity. And now such a high-tech project is being set up in Northeast. That itself is a very big thing. 27,000 crore investment coming in Assam and that will again boost the economy of North East. Second point which I would like to emphasize here is today the ATMP technology has got developed in India which basically gives us a huge capability. It makes us uh, totally at par with the best in the world and with these three projects, the way we have structured these projects, the fab, capa the fab capability also will come to India. The fab between design, fab and ATMP. When, when we have all the three values, value chain components and we have the ecosystem and we have the talent, India becomes the most attractive destination for future semiconductor manufacturing by any company in the world. So this is the way our policy is structured, creating that entire ecosystem, all the three parts of the value chain, the uh, uh, ecosystem for all the materials which go in and the talent pipeline. Combined all this will lead to and then once we have the semiconductor industry, the immediate corollary of that is getting the manufacturing industry. For example, laptop manufacturing. For example, mobile manufacturing gets a quantum jump. For example, your automobile industry doesn't have to depend upon imported chips in case of any disruption, right? For example, during the COVID period, we saw the disruption in car manufacturing. That doesn't happen. So many different things fall in place once this basic 